Hi guys. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, and you? Good. Very well. Hey, so my first question is for, for Ellen. Um, Ellen, was the new season easier or harder to get off the ground? Uh, you know, off the ground just in terms of the entire thing or in terms of... Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Um, you know, I'm obviously just one tiny part of this, you know, massive team that goes into making this. Um, but clearly it's uh, an incredibly ambitious season. You know, I think everything's very much uh, taken up a notch. Um, and I think, you know, in terms of it looking the way it does and, um, uh, you know, and, and being at least I think is, you know, good as it is, um, is a testament to all the incredible people that, you know, pulled that off. Um, and yeah. And Amy, do you think it's easier to talk about issues such as family matters and prejudice using a fantastical frame and narrative? Do I think it's easier to talk about it under, under, like within the confines of the Umbrella Academy? Yeah. Uh, no, because I think um, I think it's it's they're all issues that are still very relevant and things that we are still dealing with and change that needs to happen and and you know there is still injustice and there is still violence and there is still discrimination and there is still systemic racism no matter what context you're talking about it um, and so. I, you know, I think this is an opportunity to bring, you know, uh, a very, you know, important um, movement for, you know, for the fight against systemic racism um, in American history to millions of screens all over the world, which I think is, um, I'm so grateful for that representation and that opportunity um, and that light that's being, you know, shown on these issues that, you know, are very, as we can see, um, very uh, relevant and, and still, you know, still happening. Um, and so, yeah, I don't think, um, it's never easy, but I think, you know, the things that, you know, are the most important and the most, um, um, uh, you know, fulfilling as far as like making permanent, long lasting change um, are never easy. Um, and so I think that that is a fight that, you know, has on many fronts been being, has been fought for over 400 years now. But I think, um, you know, I think, I am I am happy to be a part of that conversation and I am happy that this show is taking is is taking a stance on 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 these topics um you know so I think uh, it, it is not easy but it is also important thank you and Tom why do you think Umbrella Academy has connect with such passion to the audience what's so special about this story I think it's, I think all the characters are deeply relatable to a lot of people, you know, and I think they're all so unique in their own way. Um, but I think they all have issues, you know, that I think a lot of people will relate to. And I think the biggest thing is that it's the family element, you know, everyone who, who, who comes from a family of siblings or just any family, you know, like you realize that they're all dysfunctional in their own little way and everyone has their issues within that family. and. I think you realize as well that you there's times there's days in families where you you might hate one another you know you're always at each other's throats but ultimately you're the so the your family members are the ones that you you bring around you to make you feel better at the end of the day and that's kind of what umbrella academy is all around they all about they can fight amongst themselves but ultimately the the, the people that are going to bring them back on track and make them feel better about themselves and ultimately hopefully save the day uh, is is each other. So I think that's what, for me, I, I, that's certainly the most relatable part about it for me, uh, that these are real humans behind these superheroes and um, not just superheroes. Yeah, thank you guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.